I hate to say it, but like I snitch. Yeah, I was gonna oh. say it, but I wanted you to say it. So yeah, I don't, you don't put me in a drama. I, I didn't say it. You said it. You're listening to Capital Extra Breakfast. Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie getting you ready for your Friday. And we are joined in the studio by a man who has many titles to his name. I'm talking actor, director, producer, DJ, and a Golden Globe winner. You might know him as Stringer Bell. If you're an NBA 2K fan, Coach Ernie, Bloodsport, you might know him for his features alongside Sean Paul, Steph London and Wiley as well. He is a smash at the box office, having starred in Thor, Zootopia and The Jungle Book and now in <coughs> Luther, The Fallen Son. It's Idris Elba! Thank you very much. I want to use that intro in my next set. I'm just going to use that. <laughs> drop some, some beats up underneath it. You Good can take morning. it. Good morning. <laughs> take it. Take us. We'll do it live for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll come anywhere you go. We'll be there. <laughs> Idris, how do buddy? How are you, buddy? Not bad, man. <laughs> good, man. I'm, I'm all right, man. How are you lot? You feeling good? We are feeling good, especially on this day, Luther the Fallen Sun, exclusively premiering today. Now, there's two types of people, right? There's people that are diehard Luther fans. Ooh. They know about Luther from the jump to where we are now. And there's other people who are going to be watching this film for the first time, like me, my first introduction to the Luther yes. world. For all of us, how would you sum up Luther in a nutshell? Um, he's a grumpy detective <laughs> <laughs> that will stop at nothing to get the perpetrators. That's all I can say. I mean, no, Luther is a very, like, um, classic detective, troubled... You know, but he's definitely someone that's got a lot of conviction. Like, it doesn't matter what you tell him, he is going to go and get um, someone that's done something bad. And and for me, it's one of my favourite characters. I've played him for 10 years, ageing myself a little bit, but I've played him since, like, 2010, uh, 11. And, wow. um, yeah, so this is the first time it's become a film. Mm -hmm. And that feels like a massive achievement because we always, most TV you know, producers want to see their IP go to the big screen, you know, but it's very rarely done well. Um, sometimes big t films get made into TV shows, but the other way, not so much. And so this feels like a massive achievement, man. And really is that why you and the fans wanted this one so much? That This has been something that people have always been crying for. What's that journey been like for you? Um, I have to say, first up, if you're a Luther fan from day one, thank you very much. I love you. Because, you're welcome. Yeah, no, no, thank you very much. Because it if it weren't for you, then we wouldn't have, you know, the sort of energy and the, the focus to go and make the film. But it's been amazing. And the trouble with it, though, is just making sure that we can keep the day one fans happy and introduce the film to people that have never seen it before. So they can go, okay, I'll just watch this film and see what's about. Most people think it's about Luther Vandross, and it is not. <laughs> it's not about that. You will be uh, uh, deeply disappointed. But in, in any case, you know what I mean? Right now, I think that a new, someone that's never seen it before is going to enjoy the film for just what it is. I, I, think can, I can 100% agree to that. We yeah. did. <laughs> you got the balance really right because someone who's watched Luther and loved Luther from the beginning and then Robert, first time, yeah. we both loved it, both in the same way. So I think you got the balance like perfectly. Yeah, but Robert, I've supported you for years. Yeah, yeah I've supported all your Ooh, other it's endeavors. So crazy, so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> my my, my mum said it was too dark. I wasn't allowed to watch it. <laughs> all right, Idris, uh, Cynthia and Andy are the other big stars in mm. the film. Do you guys have a, like, Luther group chat <laughs> no me and Cynthia we, we we spar a lot she's uh my buds and and Andy's great but we don't have a group chat no why um interesting question I mean you know it would get too dark oh, yeah, maybe, I, yeah you know did you see this murder oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing no, <laughs> no thanks get that off my phone yeah. <laughs> you said the links of news stories every second <laughs> one of my um like Parts of the film that I will always remember was the big scene in Piccadilly. I don't want to give away mm. no spoilers or anything like that. I was there watching it, just trying to find myself. I was like, that's just around the corner. <laughs> was I walking in the background? How do you manage to, like, <laughs> shut down a place like that? Tell me. Like, yeah. Piccadilly Circus is not easy to shut down. But it turns out, apparently, the person that, you know, gives out the permits says no. Usually, like, no, no. The one that said Lufa, it was like, Lufa? Uh, oh, okay, yeah. you can have four. <laughs> Four nights. And, uh, <laughs> wow. I think we met them. They came down. Big and fan. Just, uh, yeah, it was a big fan of the show. That goes to say, you know what I mean? Like, Luther does have some deep roots, especially in the UK, especially in London, because we use London streets quite mm. a bit. So to shut down Piccadilly Circus was very special. I ain't going to lie. You, des moment. you describe filming this as a grim shoot. What was the <laughs> hardest part of filming or hardest day on set, a tough day on set? 
You know what? It's really, we just long, we shoot it in the winter. So we get up around four, go home around four or five, and it's still dark. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And always there's lots of rain machines. And it rains in the country anyway, so yeah. why do we need more rain on top of rain? But um, it's very, it's a very grim show. You know, obviously, there's a lot of emotion from Luther. Um, and this particular film is one of the longest, hardest fight scenes I've ever done in my whole career. Like, it was gnarly, and it was in a prison. I don't know spoilers, but the fight scene in there um, is tough for me. I can't lie, I was like this. <laughs> yeah, it man. was tough, that scene was tough. You know when you're fighting so much, you're doing your own sound effects. <laughs> 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 Serious. Do people ever stop you, especially when you're in the UK, mm. in London? Do you get stopped on the street and get called John Luther? Um, more Stringer Bell, actually. Stringer Is Bell? It? Yeah, a really? lot, a lot of Stringer, a lot of Stringer. Lufa every now and again, but people just shout out, Alice! <laughs> yeah. Alice, man! Yeah, yeah. Where is yeah, she? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, sorry, I don't know, man. <laughs> what but, do you do when that happens? Uh, I usually just be like, yeah, man, respect. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I walk around London all the time. I feel like so, I saw you, actually. I saw her house one time, and I was like, oh, my God, it's... I can let me embarrass myself. <laughs> yeah. so I, I, I nearly did. I wish you'd just come like... and said hello. Like, most people, like, look weird and don't say nothing, <laughs> and then come up and go, can I take a picture? And you guys go, why didn't you just come and say <laughs> hello? Yeah, say hello. Chat, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's all good, though. But um, I usually get recognised for Stringer. Okay. Or, or Charles Minor from The Office. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Or sometime Turn Up Charlie. Charlie yeah. as well, yeah, Charlie, yeah, yeah. You know, my guy. <laughs> anyway. Now, Idris, uh, Luther as a TV series has a huge fan base and it reminds us a little bit of the obsession people have and had with Top Boy. Mm. Now, if any of the Top Boy cast were to be in Luther, who would it be? What character would you would you have them play? <sighs> um, boy, that's a good question. That's a great question. Do you remember the character they used to call Driss? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because I was distracted that his name was Driss, but uh, he would be a good character in Lufa. What would you have him play? Like a... a, 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 a I hate to say it, but like a snitch. Yeah, I was going to oh! say it, but I wanted you to say it, so... Yeah. I don't, you don't put me in a drama. I, I didn't say it, you said it. Not, no, you made me say it. You wrote it. No, you don't can't see it. No, but he would be like a very good informer Inform. character, Inform. you know what I mean? Yeah. A conflicted one, you know, yeah, yeah, swear that way, yeah, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, he was a wicked, wicked performance in that, um, that show. Someone else we'd like to see you link up with is someone that we've sort of had a back and forth conversation with. So we asked you, is there anyone you would like to work with? And you named someone. And then we told that someone that you named them and they replied. And here is what they said. Swear down, I Idris. You. Uncle. Like, everyone try to make him James Bond, but John Luth is James Bond. Idris is an inspiration. Do you know I mean Stringer Bell? Like, I bought, there's a brand called Kith. Like, they got this wire collection. So I just bought loads of the wire. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like loads of Idris t shirts now like, in my suitcase. I'm like, yeah, I'm buying it. So, man, he's a legend. If we can find something together, that'd be amazing. Idris is, he's the guy out here, bro. Daniel Kaluuya. That's my guy. On you. Talk to us. When is this going to happen? How is it going to happen? We need to see this. You know what? I'm definitely, you know what I mean? It's something that, you know, he and I have just said to each other, like, please, let's make this happen. We just need to get the right project, you know what I mean? Like, and I think it needs to be something British. Mm, you know, we both, we both play on international waters, you know what I mean? But I feel like it would be a British story where he and I play some sort of either brothers or arch enemies. Oof. Yeah. Not the enemies. Nah, but you know, like I think, like just to just to bring the best out of both of us, you know, that would be yeah. amazing. Uh, Idris, you <laughs> said this about when you were first sent the part of John Luther. But they were like, well, they have this character called uh, John Luther, and it's a detective show. As soon as I heard that, I was like, yes, please let it be good. I read it, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm down. And John Luther. Saved my life, there's no doubt. Saved my career, actually. Stringer Bell made my career and John Luther saved it. Lovely words for me. Is that, is that what I sound like? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I thought you'd be good for the radio. <laughs> Have you not watched your own films, your own shows? You don't know what you sound no, like? I thought I sounded of... more like, yeah, man, you, you get, you know what I mean? I sound a bit more like, you know, the guy from the... the, the, the no, you sound good. 
good, Idris. You sound good, and you were wow. saying some good words. You were no, saying, all right, yeah, sorry. sorry. You said some good words. Yes. Out of all your characters, mm. is Luther your fave? Is Stringer Bell your fave? Who is your fave? There's no faves. There is I'm honest, no. There's depths, you know what I mean? Like, which characters have I gone deeper into? And I'd say John is one of them. I'd say the commandant in The Beast of No Nation. I'd say um, Nelson Mandela. Like, you know, where I had to really lose myself and, 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 and you know, basically try and disappear in those characters. But John's definitely up there for sure. You know what I mean? I hear it. Yeah. Just if I can just, like, go rogue for two seconds. Rogue, go. I've got to ask you this question. Go on. Are Arsenal winning the league this year? That's not rogue. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's... Rogue from Man United, fan. Oh. Uh, we are, you know. You are? You've said it, yeah? 100%. 100%? Like 100% we are winning in this league. I know there's like a game in hand and Man City, Raddy Ra, but we're winning it. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us, yeah? We're amazing right now. <laughs> Arsenal fans are very unbearable right now, trust me. A little bit, a little bit. I just needed to see it live in my eyes to say, yes, this is what they're saying. So come the end of the season, we've yeah. got receipts. Do you think Man United are going to win? I'm just saying we're yes, stretching exactly. our legs for there a title race. That's there was no was yes or no. <laughs> the, the deviation immediately. It was a maybe, it was a maybe. Uh, Idris, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio with us on oh, release day. You. Luther, the fallen son, at premieres globally mm. on Netflix on March 10th, 2023, which is today. <laughs> Mad. Mad <laughs> how you did that. Mad. One more time. Let's give it up. Is it just over? Thank you guys so much, man. 